Welcome back to Fantastic Feast. I'm your host, Wee Fan. Before the break, I showed you how to make three skewered appetizers that were delicious, in my opinion. Um, and so now we'll take a little bit of a different route and show you how to do one of my favorite juicing recipes. I started juicing about five years ago and I've been doing it ever since, um, partly because it makes me feel less guilty when I go eat ice cream or any of those other things, but I actually love the benefits of um, having fresh fruits and vegetables because sometimes we obviously we forget to eat our fruits and vegetables. Um, and so this is a way for me to make sure that I get my nutrients in and in a way that makes the vegetables palatable because I know that sometimes when you juice, um, when you're drinking vegetables, it's like kind of tastes like dirt. But um, with the addition of certain vegetables and fruits, you can make a juice that's very palatable and even delicious. So I'll start with the carrots. And the amount that I usually make is enough usually for about two mason jars, but um, I don't need to make that much. If you wanna do just a single, um, a single serving, that will work too, and I'll show you that too. So carrots I'll usually peel. Actually, with this juicer, it doesn't really matter if you peel it or not. Um, but if you want a cleaner juice, you can peel it. But it's perfectly fine if you don't, as long as you wash it really well. And obviously, carrots have a lot of vitamin C, and it's good for your eyes. I used to have the regular juicer, and actually that one is so fast, however, um, it doesn't allow me to juice leafy greens such as kale or um, uh, wheatgrass when I have it. You can just tell by how green it is that's so healthy for you. Onto our cucumber. Cut them in half. And cut them into threes. And then celery. Celery is the negative, um, the negative vegetable that you actually burn calories because it has zero calories, and then the amount of energy it takes for you to chew it means that you're actually burning calories eating um, celery. So. Something to keep in mind. Kale is very in, um, but it also um, adds a, a level of healthiness to this juice that I think makes me feel better about myself. Kale. Apple. Uh, this is a Fuji apple. Uh, I would use any type of apple except for Granny Smith because Granny Smith is very sour and you'll you notice that when you're drinking it. So, And an orange if you have it. For me, basically, I will do whatever it takes to mask the taste of veg vegetables. I want to tell you something about beets and it is that when you juice beets, uh, when you go to the bathroom, it will be red. <laughs> Don't be alarmed, you're not bleeding, you're not dying. Um, that's just the result of the beets. So I just wanna give you a, a warning. I think the first time I drank it, I was terrified and I didn't know what was going on, but um, it's a sign you're, you're doing good. And beets are so healthy for you. They're like a miracle vegetable. And honestly, when I started juicing, part of the reason I started juicing is because uh, my brother, he was diagnosed with cancer. Um, many years ago and one of the ways that we tried to keep him like healthy or get as much nutrients to him was by juicing beets um, and that's when I really began juicing and um, I continued it um, through the years because I feel like um, it couldn't hurt you right it can always only help you so I add a little bit just a little bit and that's all there is to it and I'll show you how to juice and turn it on Okay. There's no rhyme or reason to how you do it. Um, just start masticating the apples. And actually, sometimes when I buy beets, I buy them with the um, the beet greens on top, and I'll juice that too. It's full of nutrients. This one I didn't have them on them, but. Um, I would, I definitely use them as well. They're super nutritious, so I would not throw them away.
It'll make you want to drink your vegetables. And there are a lot of different combinations, but I find that this one, I can really cheat and get a ton of vegetables in. And it's still very yummy. I'm halfway through, so what I'll do is I'll stop. And this pulp right here is actually gold. I use this in my garden and I use this to compost, so nothing goes to waste for me. Pour it in here so that the pulp um, gets strained. Okay, here goes my juice. It's like a really rich garnet red. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of juice, so this is enough for actually for three servings. <clears throat> it's really yum. I can taste the cucumbers and the carrots and the beets and the apples. That's what comes up, and also a hint of the ginger, which is really strong, but um, it gives it a, a zing and a, a kick to it, so it's really good. And I think if I can drink this every day, then um, I am helping my body heal and doing all sorts of good things for it, so win-win for everybody. We've shown you so many dishes today, but this one is so simple, I can't help but show this as well. Um, this is my protein smoothie that I drink every single morning um, before I go to work, and it gives me a lot of energy. A cup of almond milk. This is about a cup of spinach. This is another way for me to cheat and drink my veggies. Um, this is about half a cup of um, frozen berries. This, it's frozen, so it'll give you that consistency. Like, I like to freeze um, Thai bananas um, so that they're like ready to go single serving. And this here is papaya. And then here I have about a tablespoon of chia seeds. And then I add one scoop of whey protein. It's vanilla flavored. And then I have an avocado. This is a, if you like avocado, I like it because then I can add more nutrients to it. It makes it a little bit creamier. I squeeze that in there too. This will be a pretty thick smoothie. You can add a little bit more almond milk if you like your consistency to be um, a little bit more uh, on the loose side. So we'll go over here and this is all it takes. You just go like. All right. Okay. Yum. It doesn't even taste like it's good for you. It's so good. It's like, it almost tastes like a milkshake. But it has chia seeds, it has whey protein powder, bananas, a ton of spinach, and avocado, and all the other stuff too. So definitely a good way to start the morning. And that will do it for us here on Fantastic Feast. Thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully we'll see you again next time. Thanks for joining.